Hey everybody, this is David at Barnyard Bees. I'm going to try to get this video out today. It's Friday the 13th. Kind of scary. But it don't look like we're bad luck with our bees because they are exploding like crazy. Uh, what we're doing this morning, we're doing some more splits. And this hive right here, We'd have already split it three weeks ago. And some of them, these early splits, we was able to drop some of our mated queens in. And so they, of course, was released and they started laying immediately. Uh, it was a little bit slow at the beginning to get enough queens because we had some bad weather, but we finally, we got, we had a, enough to get out a few to try to get some early early splits going on now it's getting better and better as time goes on and we're able to make some more queens and uh, we're doing pretty good now just a lot of cold rainy days and just not real good for queen making but it's been doing pretty good lately and what I want to show you is all these right here we had placed one frame. You can tell my queen's on this frame right here. I'll, I'll pick her back up here in a second. This frame right here, when we done these splits, we spread a bunch of them out in our, uh, our mini mating nukes. So a lot of these had only one or two frames put back in them. Most of them had two. Of course, in the minis, just the one. So, for example, this, this hive right here, we put two frames back in and split off the other three and moved them to a different, different place or a different part of this yard, actually. And they did really good. Like I did uh, the video about whether you got to move your bees a long distance away and you can go back and watch that video and, and those bees done excellent. So... It's not, a, it's not necessary, you know, the bees, you, you got your nurse bees that will stay. But this thing is, it's just absolutely packed out. So what we're doing today, we're splitting it again. We'll leave two frames in this hive right here. And we'll move the other three in, a new, in another location that has a lot of cat brood on it. And some of these actually today, we'll be doing a few walkaway splits where we'll just let them make their own queen. Uh, I'll show you an example over here, what we did. We go across over here in this part of the yard. Some of these hives, I mean, we've been feeding them heavy. So they've been increasing pretty fast. So sometimes when you go in that hive, you can look and look and look and sometimes it just happens. You just can't find that queen. When we pulled these frames out, these five frames, it was absolutely packed. They was rolling, they was falling off the bottom of the frames. It, uh, it, it was packed out pretty heavy. So what we did, for example, okay, I put one frame uh, in this hive right here, in this mini, and one here, in this many and one on this far corner right here so that took out three of those frames that left two frames in the original box and at this point we're not sure of where the queen is but we'll give them a uh, four or five days and by then you'll know it's simple you, you pull the frames out and you simply just look for day old eggs. It's, it's as easy as that. Uh, especially these minis, you know, you'll look. If you find, that's where you'll locate your queen. And from there, we can actually just leave those as a walkaway split and let them make their own queen. And we're getting a few queen cells. Uh, we'll actually be pulling out some grass and introducing queen cells from that as well as cutting them from the frames and also virgins. So, some of them will do walkway splits and some of them will just let uh, 
the, the, we'll put the introduce the queen cell in. So that's what we're doing today. And it's a beautiful day. These, these bees are increasing. Like right now is the time to do this. And I want to show one more thing over here, <clears throat> especially for the new beekeeper on these frames right here. I've showed these uh, before in a previous video, but it's been a while back. So I just kind of wanted to, well, I had the camera rolling. If you can see in that corner right there, you'll see a large number of drone cells. Well, that is your first indication that your hive is getting ready to swarm. Now, I've, I've already been all through this. There's not queen cells yet. Of course, anytime you pull out uh, frames and there's a lot of bees, you know, you're, and there's nowhere else for them to build, you're already in danger of swarming but this is like the first indication okay we're prepping for it is these see if i can move them out of the way here you can see them a little bit better these drone cells usually in the corners so i had found the queen and i'll pull this frame up trying to do this barnyard bee away with one hand like i usually do and see if i can locate her she was right here on this frame Right there she is. There we go. Okay, there's our queen. So what we'll do, I'm gonna go ahead and we'll move her over. This hive here is packed pretty good. So what I'll do, the bees are, they weren't strong as that one over there that had, the bees were just absolutely falling off the, the frames. And I want to pick a frame to leave back in that has a combination of everything. When I say everything, I mean, of course, young eggs and cat brood, honey, and pollen. Usually, if you look, you'll find one that's like that. So that's what I'll end up doing. Let's see if I can find one here and I'll show you. Okay, right here, here is a frame. On the very top, you got a layer of honey. That's a good pattern of honey uh, to put back in there. Right there's pollen right underneath of it. We got cat brood, and also there's eggs in there within that frame. So what I'll do, that's definitely one that I'll leave back in there. That way that gives me the option, if we don't come up with enough queen cells or virgin queens, that this one can be used as a walkaway split. So, right there's eggs. Maybe we can see it here on the camera. See the drone cells also on this frame here. So these are prepping for for swarming. So, so what I'll do, I'm gonna set it to the side. That's the one I'm gonna keep. I'll actually keep two frames in here, then I'll move the other three over with the queen let's see look at the cat brood look at that pattern that is that is a good pattern right there a cat brood so that hive right there will just absolutely explode there's a lot of bees right there so what I'll do, remember the queen's right there in the center. We can actually even go stretch it further than this like we did over there, if you want to. Uh, I'm gonna put two empties right here. Uh, as, as, it, as it gets warmer and warmer, you can do less frames with splits. You don't have to commit to so many when you're doing split so so this is one with the queen this will be the split so right now we'll have we'll be basically leaving two frames in there for them and like i said you got the option to walk away split find your queen cell or adding adding our virgin queens so we'll put our two 
move it over here so we don't danger of hitting our queen. Because I know the queen's on that center. So we'll slide this frame over and put. Okay. So there's. So what I'll do, I'll leave this split here in the original spot. A lot of those foragers will go back. The majority of the bees was moved here. And only two frames left here. But all those foragers, a lot of those foragers will go back. And I'll just put frame there. Starter strip frame there. So there's still there's a lot of bees in here this is this is basically not how we usually you, you we can go further with this because there's so many bees in here i know a lot of people say man you could have done three or four splits with that yeah we could and we understand that but sometimes when we're making the videos we're trying to keep it simple and that's why i showed those minis over there the way we did those so we took one five frame box of bees and did three splits and then left the original so that's what you can do and as time goes on as it gets warmer and you're not in danger danger of chill brood you can actually uh, use less bees so when it's still a little bit I mean it's still a little bit cold it's it's nice out but the nighttime temperatures are still dipped down in the 40s so we're still a little bit careful with our splits we're not we're, we're committing to more frames of bees until we get some good warm 50 60 degree night temperatures to be more comfortable not losing any brood so that's about it i'm gonna go ahead and cut this video they usually drag on longer than what i planned but i get to talking and there's a lot to talk about sometimes and sometimes when i'm done with the video i actually think of things and I always check in the description because a lot of times when i make these videos i'll think later on i'll put it in the description so don't forget to check it out in case I forgot to say something in the video but that's about it today I thought that'd be a good video the bees are increasing like crazy we're keeping the sugar water to them the pollen and they're doing amazing this year it's a good spring we're off to a great start and that's about it for today don't forget to like click on the little bell it'll remind you when our upcoming videos it'll remind you when the video is coming up and don't forget to subscribe um, we've noticed that there's been a lot of people watching our videos and uh, on the analytics analytics I think that's how you say that uh, there's a lot of non-subscribers that are watching and we would love to get you guys to subscribe to our channel please so don't forget to subscribe and thanks for watching Barnyard Bees